Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube channel, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel guys. For the newcomers, my name is Didi, I hobble some Bitcoins and a half empty Bitcoin Family coffee cup. Okay, hmm. this morning, really awesome video, six amazing charts, you need to see these amazing charts, they are really cool. Let's quickly jump into these charts because they are telling you what Bitcoin is doing at the moment. Bam, over there. This is the first chart. Yes, my face is now very small, but that's perfect because then you can see the charts really good. On the one hour, I told you guys we will probably find the support at the 37,500 and then go up again. At least that is what I expect. Because after such a huge run, you get a pullback and then you should go again and try to break that red downward trend line. If I switch this chart to the 4 hours, you will probably see the same, of course, because it's the same chart. Stupid Diddy. But you can see a little bit more clear how big that run was. Look, we came up, brrrp, we come, of course, down. Bam, this low is a higher low than all the previous lows. So that means that we are still in an uptrend, short time uptrend in a four hour chart. And uh, our target should be this cross over there, $42,000. If we break that one, we go up, retest that red line and go up again. Uh, that is expected. That is what I expect of the markets. I don't see us crashing down. But if we break this line of support, 37,500, then yes, we could fall down all the way back here to 34,000. So let's not hope that will happen. Let's jump into the next chart, BAM. Because the BAM um, told us yesterday to uh, short that market. Uh, we did short that market, of course. And now the BAM is telling us, oh, look, we are seeing a long flag. So I'm going to shortly tell you what that means. What that, what that oh, means. <laughs> long flag. Now we are waiting for a candle that closes above the yellow stepping line over there. We are waiting for this to turn all the way green. We are waiting for the green line on top. And we are waiting for the bam bam indicator on the bottom to cross that midline. If all of those things happen, that would be all confirmation of a long. Now, it's only an indication, hey, watch out, we are going to turn around from a short into a long, just like we did here, short into a long short into a long and every time we turn around from a short into a long there is an opportunity to trade um, if we would create a candle above this one 38,000, then uh, the profit could be to the top of the blue cloud eight percent profit so that is how the band works now quickly jump into these other amazing charts i want to share with you and these are bam over here yes my face is still okay in that corner there yes it is um guys let's see if i want to show you what is happening in bitcoin sometimes you need to look at other types of charts and that is what we are going to do now we have six of them i think um this is the first one this chart is showing you the amount of bitcoins held by the strong hands illiquid supply shock ratio everybody's talking about the shock ratio what does that mean that there are less bitcoin available to sell to the market and that would drive up the price so if you look at this area in 2017 over here, that is the mid of the bull run of 2017. We had a huge drop in the blue line, illiquid supply shock ratio, that line. And after that, we had it retested up and then the, uh, we had the rebounds up, sorry, in this green area. That was the moment the second part of the bull run started and we went all the way uh, from around 5K to 20K. Now, we see this again. This time, this pinkish area, we had this huge drop in the blue line. It is not as wide as in 2017, which means it's a shorter um, uh, liquid supply shock, but we are rebouncing stronger as well at the moment. So if we would repeat what happened in 2017 after this pinkish area, when we went into this greenish area, we went to the bull run top. We are leaving that pinkish area into that greenish area so we are going for that bull run top and that should be above 100k guys bam another really cool chart this one i need to move my face 
up to the corner over there and um, this chart is showing you the realized profit like a frog profit and loss um, it's really cool to see and um, that till like if you look at june there was a lot of losses more losses than profits as you can see this in this area over there the pink line is above the green line but now look what has happened in the period after that it, it kind of went sideways still the losses were bigger than the profits but now look this is turning around it has a lot of realized profits 2.9 2.09 billion this week against 260 million losses that is very positive people are making profits again and the moment that green line is going up like this we can look back what happened here before that we went to the 60k run the moment the green line went up the price starts to move up as well so that is what we see and let's jump into bam this chart this chart and now you will see my beautiful niece yomi walking by hi yomi good morning she says good morning uh i love that sweet niece of mine and um, maybe she knows if bitcoin is going to go up or not well, i don't know but this chart here over guys um uh, oh, oh here oh, yeah. um, this is the percentage of balance on exchanges all of exchanges and on this chart you can see that at the moment we are at the same low as we were during the 60k run and that is really awesome because you can see here 13.9 percent we are back at that level 13.9 percent of the bitcoins is held on exchanges that is how i say it right that's only 13.9 percent that was 16.5 percent pre-run when we went down to 13.9 percent we went up in this price now we went down again to 30.9 percent and the price is going up again so if we stay at this level the price will increase because that would be that supply shock. People are taking the bitcoins of the exchanges. There's not a lot of bitcoin available. So the price should be going up because of that. That's all what it is. It's all the game um, in bitcoin. Offer and demand. Bam. Next one. This chart also really awesome chart. Still need to check where my face is. I need to put it over here. Now, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to delete my face. That's maybe the most easy part um but this chart guys is uh, also really cool bitcoin exchange net position change on all exchanges you can see that there is a significant outflow of volume from the exchanges again here this huge peak this is huge this is 100k bitcoin per month leaving the exchanges 100k bitcoin when did we see this before we look to the left on the chart and then we see that happening here in november 2020 also 100k that even 150k leaving the exchanges and what happened after that that all these bitcoin left the exchanges let me know what happened after that i will tell you bam bitcoin went all the way to 60k and every time this happens when the bitcoins leaves the exchanges the price does the opposite it's going up and that is what we see when the bitcoin the green here go to the exchanges the bitcoin price is going down we see the bitcoins leaving exchanges now already for a lot of weeks if we go even lower to 150k believe me this price is going up bam next shot i'm going to make it soon because uh, speed up speed it up dd because i want to have breakfast with my niece um let's see okay where do we are here there's also the transfer volume we can see the same over here guys this is by the way from the miners to the exchanges so not from the exchanges to the people this is from the miners to the exchanges so you can see that less and less bitcoins are being transferred from miners to exchanges from the high of 60k in this green arrow downwards you could see it was going down 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 less bitcoins from the miners to the exchanges why because the bitcoins need to be sold at a profit because else these miners can't work profitable so now we can see this increase again you see the price is going up 
and the miners are slowly starting to sell bitcoins again to the exchanges why because they also have cost and they need to live and so they need to make some profit so some miners need to start to sell at these prices instead of the higher prices but it's not as much as we saw just before that huge run to 60k we can go way more higher than we are doing at the moment also really positive in my opinion and then we go to the bam last chart of the day today this last chart is the adjusted SOPR um, and this chart is showing you that there was an extended period of real life losses when we be move below the level of one that's mostly when um, the capitulation the bears take over but when we go above the level of one that is when the bulls are taking over again and that is when the profitability returns the market starts to absorb bitcoins again now this yellow line that we see that is the important one this one needs to retest the one level but not go below it if we keep above this one level with the yellow line that means that we are turning bullish again look to the left always looked at the history if we keep above that one level we stay in that huge bull run you see from here that was like the 8k to the 60k again we went down that was when the price dropped but now we are above it again and now we need to stay above it we need to find support on that one level to stay bullish i think that was everything for today yes that was everything for today it was not that short as i intended it's 11 minutes but i hope you really enjoyed it if you did enjoy the video give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment was my niece yomi that was walking through the screen very cute or very 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 cute what do you think about the bitcoin price let me know down below in the comments guys see you later or tomorrow again it's busy as hell at the moment in my life i have my sister here we just moved into a new house i'm receiving friends tomorrow another part of friends on the 16th uh, the camera crew is coming over somewhere in the next week as well so that is why i'm not making so many videos at the moment but i promise i will be back now let's have bitcoin run run btc bam I can't stay in no more